we know what we want. And we said, we don't know how long he's been outside his hands. And I'm going to tell you who he Oh, it's always cold. She's in the city. I am woken up by loud noises, a kind of weird screaming. It sounds like foxes howling outside. Then I realise. When I get downstairs I see that my father is fitting, his head banging against the wall repeatedly. feel stuck to the ground. I don't know what to do. My body fills with panic, my heart beating faster and faster. My body finally starts to work as I run to get pillows, blankets, cushions, anything I can find to protect my father from hurting himself. He is injured already. So I throw away the panic and make sure I use my logic. By calling 999, I am distracted. I have to follow the protocol and answer the lady's questions. What drugs does he take? Is he breathing? Is he hurt? Is he bleeding? Can you put him in the recovery position? Is he responding? How often does he have a seizure? The seizure stops. The distractions carry on. But then it's over, and the visual of a creature, along with the sound of foxes howling, come back as I try to sleep. <laughs>